guess what? Whoa, what's going on? Five minute Wednesdays are back! <laughs> That's right, 5 Minute Wednesday is back. And today, we're going to talk about all of the different beam profiles that we have with our most popular series lights, such as the S series, M series, pistol lights, and even more. And before we start this video, guys, we're going to give away two OD Green i5Ts. All you need to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave us a comment letting us know what your favorite breakfast cereal is. I'm going to go with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm going to have to go with Reese's Puffs. First up, we're going to look at the i5T. Now, the i5T runs off of a regular AA battery and goes all the way up to 300 lumens. The 300 lumen mode on the i5T right here is just going to be basically a general large hotspot area due to the fact that it is such a small flashlight. But you can see here that is perfect for just simple everyday up close tasks. Next up, we have the S1R Baton 2. Now this runs off of the IMR16340 battery and can go all the way up to a thousand lumens. Even though the S1R Baton 2 is so small, you're still getting a nice defined hotspot in the very center and it fades out nicely to the outer edge. At 1000 lumens, you can see just how bright this light is here in this pitch black room. So for a tiny little everyday pocket light, this is pretty much perfect. So now we're going to show you guys the beam on the Baton Pro. Now the Baton Pro runs off of a 3500 milliamp 18650 battery, putting out an impressive 2000 lumens. A step up from the S1R Baton 2 would definitely be the Baton Pro. 2000 lumens, I mean just look how well this wall is lit up compared to the previous lights we showed you. So if you want an absolute pocket monster that's still going to be really small in your pocket, Check out the Baton Pro. Moving along, guys, we have the M2R Pro Warrior. That runs off of the 21700 battery, giving off 1800 lumens. The M2R Pro has a nice 300 meter beam distance, so it's going to be a much more focused hotspot. You can see there in the very center. And then again, it has a really nice fade to the outer edge. So if you'd like a more defined, a little bit better throw type light, the M2R Pro is an excellent option because it features not only a side switch, but also a stainless steel tail switch that you can use to charge the light as well. Next, we have the Warrior X Pro. Now this impressive light gives off 600 meters of throw with a max of 2,250 lumens running off of a 21700 battery. The Warrior X Pro has an even higher intensity defined hotspot. This is a wonderful thrower at 600 meters. So for a handheld option, that actually has one of the best throws in the industry. The Warrior X Pro is a no-brainer and by far one of my favorite performers out of the entire Olight lineup. Now, the Seeker 2 Pro has even more lumens. This gives off 3,200 lumens coming from that 21700 battery. The Seeker 2 Pro features 3,200 lumens coming out of three LEDs. So that's gonna give you an extremely floody, bright beam. You can see it's shining pretty much this entire wall area right here. So if you're looking for extremely bright concentrated flood, the Seeker 2 Pro is going to be a perfect option for you. And it also has a ton of different features such as a battery indicator and lumen level indicator around the side switch. Now the PL Pro has a built-in rechargeable battery with a max of 1500 lumens. The PL Pro features 1500 lumens on max. It also has a 300 lumen low mode, but here on the 1500 lumen mode, you can see that it has an extremely defined hot spot to give you some beam distance there for your rifles. And it still also has a nice fade to the outer edge. So you get that as well. So for a very small weapon light, this is a really nice looking beam. We hope you enjoyed this new five minute Wednesday video back from the quarantine. And also, as you can see, 
we have a variety of beam profiles to meet anyone's needs with several different models that Olight has to offer. Don't forget, we're giving away two OD Green i5Ts. So all you guys need to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave us one comment on what your favorite breakfast cereal is. Thanks a lot, guys. We really appreciate all of the support, and we'll see you on the next video.